Hi, Sarah Banis here, Spectrum Weavers. I'm going to show you today how to download and then install a font onto your system uh, so that it can then be used in whatever design software you use, whether that be Cricut Design Space or Silhouette Studio or, um, you know, Brother Canvas, anything, any design program you can use in, in Word, you can, and any program that uses fonts. So that's how fonts work, just so that you're aware. You're not downloading or installing them to the program. You are downloading them to your computer, installing them on your computer, and then they're available in any font that you use on that system that uses fonts, they're your system fonts at that point. Okay, so the font that I'm going to show you how on is in the free section on font bundles. The nice thing about font bundles is that even the free section, the fonts that you get from there, all include a commercial use license. What that means is that uh, that font can then be used on items that you make to sell legally. So, uh, but this this is this is the process for any font that you download, whether it be from Defont or another market or whatever have you. Any font that you download, this is how you download and then install it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, click download free now, and you'll see it come up down here. Okay, and then you see this arrow pointing up, click on that, click open. This will come up. You want the second one down, the bottom one. Double click that to open it. Now, you can see here that this, so you don't have to worry about any of these, DS Store, Internet Shortcut, the PDF, the JPEG, you don't have to worry about any of these, okay? These are, that's your your license, uh, you know, frequently asked questions, things like that. Those aren't what you're installing. What you're installing is one of these two, okay? These are both the same font. It's just you're only installing one. You either install the open type font file or the true type, okay? So you'll also see those as OTF or TTF, okay? So when you pull it up, it may just say OTF or it may just say TTF. Uh, when you have both of them and you're given the choice, you'll always want to choose the open type or the OTF font uh, file. The reason that is, is that it has a, 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 has a greater capacity for font designers to include things like contextual ligatures and glyphs, things to that effect. So the OTF font will always have everything the font has to offer. Now, if there's not an OTF, the TTF file it's fine. That's fine to install also. So let's go ahead. Okay, so you'll on your OTF file, you'll double click it. And this box will come up and then you'll click install. And you see it's installing it. And then you close it and that's it. And that font is now installed on my system as a system font. Now to access that font, whatever design program you want to access it in, if you have it open right now, You'll need to just close the program and reopen it, and then it'll be available in that program. Um, and like I said, if if the font does designate uh, system fonts versus you know fonts that you buy on that, pro like for instance, Cricut Design Space will have fonts that you can buy from them, um, or you can ha use your own fonts. Then it'll be listed as a system font. Uh, if if it doesn't designate anything, it's just listed under your drop down for fonts. Uh, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask them below. Um, that's about it, though. It's a pretty simple process. Okay, have a great day.